So uh, Jetev is, you know, entire story, its rise as well as its fall, is fairly uh, inextricable from that of its founder, Naresh Goel. Uh, you know, uh, it can't be denied that it was Naresh Goel's talent and his and his sharpness and his ambition that made Jet what it is. It he created Jet and made it the the biggest airline in India uh, with first class international operations. But it was also his mistakes primarily which led to Jet's downfall. Uh, to be sure, uh, Jet was as much impacted as other airlines in the industry by 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 macroeconomic factors uh, such as a high cost environment and and really uh, low yields because of cultural competition and an extremely price sensitive Indian market. But his faults are definitely there and and they can't be ignored and they have contributed to a large extent to to where Jet is now. So, so first of all, I mean, it's 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 the whole attitude of how he used to run the airline, which is fairly archaic and and, and old, and it, it it hasn't kept up with uh, the new uh, uh, the new forms and the new ways of doing business. He was a one man. He started Jet. Uh, it, it was it, it was primarily a one man show, and and his mistake was that he wanted to keep it a one man show. He didn't. He um, he hired. Uh, executives and he hired professionals from around the world uh, with proven track records uh, from myriad international airlines and then he didn't listen to the management he he called up a lot of he, he had many friends uh, globally global airline CEOs and aircraft lessors and you know IATA presidents he, he spoke to all of them he was a huge he was a hugely brilliant networker spoke to all of them and and, and finally you know just listened to himself So one of his first mistakes can be traced back to 2007 when you know he bought Air Sahara. Uh, that was purely a very very hasty and impulsive deal and, and a deal which was too big for Jet's books if I may call it that. He bought it for 14, 1450 crore and it, uh, it, it, he went against uh, a, a lot of advice from his management, you know, sane advice from his management and just went ahead and did the deal. He was insecure of competition from from low cost carriers that had sprouted in the last two years, you know, Indigo, Spice, Jet, Go Air, and of course Vijay Malia's very ambitious Kingfisher Airlines and Supervisor Air Sahara. So he he stitched a very hasty deal and he, along with Air Sahara, he bought uh, too many problems and many more problems than Jet could handle. There were labor issues, there were tax issues, um, it wasn't a very well run airline, there was a lot of turnaround to be done. And those problems continued to haunt Jet for many, many years later. In fact, in fact, it, they haunt there till today. There are many HR issues that are that, that still remain unresolved. But the second mistake happened before that. It was the the wide body <coughs> that he uh, that Jet ordered for. It was twenty odd, twenty odd uh, Airbus and Boeing planes. So the impract impracticality of that was that nobody, uh, no airline in its right mind would place such a small order for a mixed fleet of wide body planes. So that really added to 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 his costs. Um, uh, he didn't configure them very practically in the sense that uh, he had first class seats which were too heavy and uh, which were not earning the airline anything uh, but he but he retained them. Such such massive wide bodied planes need at least 400 seats for them to earn money which is the standard across the world. He kept it at about 300 odd seats and then even when he sort of increased it later, fervent advice from, from, his, from, from his management, it still went to about 348 seats. So, for, so, so in a nutshell, for about ten years, about five to ten years, Jet kept losing a fourth of what could it, what it could have earned from those planes. The other thing was that there was no international proper international network uh, plan for those planes. Uh, there never was, you know. So, so basically, Jet did not know where to deploy deploy all of them, and so it leased them out to to airlines. Jet was forced to behave like. A leasing company when it was not. So you know, its top management, from its CEO to its CCO, chief commercial officer, would be you know touring the world for six months looking for an airline which was willing to lease the planes. And this this when there was a huge onslaught of competition, cutthroat competition from the, the LCCs. Fuel prices were rising, and the management should have focused on managing the airline. They were looking for other airlines across the world to lease these planes. But then the last few months in which Jet. Uh, he tried to get a good deal for Jet, but he was too a little too he hag he haggled a little too much. There was Delta Airlines, which had shown a little bit of interest. Goel still haggled on the share price. He commanded a, demanded a premium, which was 
which was uh, which was not sort of acceptable to Delta. Tata Group, uh, which has serious ambitions in the aviation business, they had come with a very fairly uh, comprehensive proposal, and Jet, uh, you know, Naresh Goel squandered that as well. You know, he uh, kept uh, they they wanted their condition was that he they wanted him out of all power, of all management control, and everything else, and he wouldn't have any of that. So that was that was his final and probably the most critical mistake that he made um, for Jet. So the one lesson that is a takeaway from the Jet story is that no founder is you know bigger than his airline. Um, he's not bigger than his management. He's not bigger than its operations. Uh, the company is much bigger than he is, and he has to sort of listen to what the airline is telling him, what the management, the market, everything's telling him. Otherwise, you know, it, it would. And that's 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 probably the lesson, the biggest lesson that can be taken from Jet Airways.